Hello, welcome to the vlog, guys. It's day 122, which if I've done my math correctly, carry the seven, uh, about a third of the way through these vlogs for this year. That's exciting. I think so. I didn't think I'd make it this far, but I have. We have all 64 of you. Yes, we lost a subscriber at some point. I don't know if I made him mad. I probably did. I probably said something offensive. I didn't know it. You know, and instead of having a conversation about it, they just bailed, you know? And that's fine. I'm not upset about it. I'm very upset. No, it's fine. It's cool. So we're at 64 subscribers. I'd like to grow that. I'd like to see this thing at, you know, 68 by the end of the year. But that's fine. You know, it's fine if it doesn't happen. Obviously, maybe I was over um, estimating when I said that we'd probably get to, like, a million subscribers by the end of the year. That's excessive. That's really not going to happen more than likely. Unless I start doing something ridiculous, which I don't even know what that would be yet. But if you've got some ideas, feel free to let me know. Quick recap of yesterday. Eh. And now on to today. What's the plan for today? Stay off my knee, because while it's feeling much, much better, it's still not all the way better. And I'm at that point where I'd be tempted to start using it and start doing things, but then I'd undoubtedly do something and it's too early and then I'd hurt it so I'm just like nope I've told myself I'm not doing anything really until next week then I shall start using it and uh, I'm going to start um, and then I'm going to start doing some exercises and really focus on my legs my lower body stuff so doing some stretching and, and some other things to try to really strengthen my legs maybe I'll start documenting that maybe the vlogs will turn into some you know what am I doing for working out in the mornings whenever I get that really up and going but then that also might just be embarrassing because it's like hey this is what I'm doing to work out and then two days later I'm not working out anymore I've quit we'll see we'll get there all right thought of the day so yesterday I posted two pictures to Facebook and to Twitter and I asked you like the clean shaven look or you like the uh, the beard look more and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I thought it'd be a fairly even split, but it was not. It was ridiculously weighted towards people digging the facial hair look, which is, uh, to me, like, oh, okay. I do look much older with the facial hair. Uh, I look more mature, more distinguished, which is probably why I shouldn't wear the facial hair, because I think if you've watched these vlogs, you understand the maturity level here is... Mm. But I got a couple comments... And one in particular on the video that I posted yesterday from uh, Tara about how she wanted, like, she liked the, the clean shaven look because it was cute and adorable or whatever. And some of the comments were about how, you know, the, the clean shaven look just looked so young. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. How young do you want me to look? Because I am 28, closing in on 30, and I know when I'm clean shaven, I could probably pass for, uh, I don't know, 18, 19 if I really if I really wanted to. That's pretty young. That's a pretty big difference from actual age to a period, like the age that I appear. So I'm like, well, how young do you want me to look? And then I was like, I don't really care that much. And I was talking to Kate about it, and this is where the, this is where it really, this is what really matters. So uh, Kate likes the look of the beard, of the facial hair. She, I mean, she's like, I get it. It looks good. She likes it. She thinks it looks good. Um, the only issue is it's kind of scratchy, you know? So while she likes the way it looks, she's not a huge fan of like, you know, giving me a kiss with the facial hair because it's kind of scratchy. And I'm like, well, then I think I should get rid of the facial hair. Which was the really the, the reasoning behind shaving it initially. And then I was thinking, hmm, maybe I just need to find a good beard softener. You know? Some of those products to make the beard feel a little softer. Maybe that would help. So, that's what I'm considering doing. Is uh, looking into some beard softener, some beard oil, whatever it is that tends to make it softer. Um because apparently the facial hair look is a good one for me. Um, as far as my online peeps have been telling me. Um, also, additionally, it's entertaining. Every time I post on Facebook and 
well, every time that a post that I put on Facebook gets a lot of reaction, I also lose a ton <laughs> of likes on Facebook because it's like I post it and it, all of a sudden it pops up and people have seen it a bunch and then they realize, wait, why am I following this person on Facebook? <laughs> and then they unfollow. So, I've got, well, it's one of the most interactive posts I've done recently. It's got like a hundred plus comments on it. I also lost like 30 people or 30 followers or 30 likes on my Facebook page since I posted it, which I personally think is hilarious. Um, <laughs> at some point, I'm hoping that it bottoms out and then everybody who's left is like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay with, you know, following that guy on Facebook, but we're not there yet. So I got to keep trying to post things that get lots of reactions so that I can keep weeding out the people who are like, who is this guy? In fact, I even saw a comment on, on what, something that I posted and this guy goes, so the real question here is who is this person and why am I following them? Or how did I find myself following Tim Irvin? Uh, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I didn't click the like button for you, but apparently you did at some point or maybe somebody you know did it for you so yeah I'm just trying to figure out the the best way to handle the facial hair situation um because I do like the distinct a little bit older distinguished look of the facial hair I think it's uh it's a nice change and honestly growing up I really I remember very very distinctly wishing that I could grow facial hair and like grow a beard that looked okay and for the longest time, I couldn't at all. It was just like this little scraggly looking stuff and it was just awful. And then now that I can finally grow and it looks, it looks pretty good, I'm like, well, I better do it. You know, I better use what the good Lord gave me. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. It's probably, it really doesn't matter. Like realistically, it doesn't make any difference. It's not a huge deal. Um, but it is kind of funny. It was kind of entertaining for me, so... Uh, there's the long, convoluted, and completely unnecessary thought of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow.